We're talking about postpartum today, which I know some of you are interested in learning more about how you can prevent that from happening or prevent that from getting worse. So we have Justina Gonzalez. She's going to share her experience with, she has two little boys. And the first experience when she had her son was a little, was a lot different than the first, from the second experience. Justina, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. So let us thank know you. a little bit about the first experience and, you know, after you had your son. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Justina Gonzalez. Uh, my son, he's almost three now. He'll be three in April. And that was a completely different postpartum journey than my three-month-old now. When I was pregnant with Vaughn, I had to start, decided to start my own coaching business, um, which was amazing. But then after I had decided to come back to work or just start my business again after postpartum, I started feeling a lot of stress. Um, I was really overwhelmed. I was like rushing around to get things done. And I kind of just summed it all up to be normal. Um, every time I would talk to another mom, they're like, oh, I feel that same way too. Um, and I knew that running my own business, that kind of just took like motherhood to the next level. But what I found was like, I would wake up with a running to-do list in my head. And I literally had a map out step by step by step of of everything in my day um, because I thought I was being productive or trying to plan out my day. I found that I would try to clean the house and like I would go into the kitchen for something and I would totally forget why I went in there. So then I would get sidetracked and go to the living room. And I just was chasing my tail around all the time. And at the end of the day, I was exhausted. My house was a mess. <laughs> and um, that kind of just went on for a few months. And I thought, it was normal because that's what everyone said. You know, I was going to a breastfeeding support group and we would kind of vent and talk about our journey into motherhood and the lack of sleep and the brain fog and that that overwhelming feeling of, mm. am I feeding my baby enough? Are they sleeping enough? So I was like, okay, well, welcome to motherhood. You know, like that's what I thought. Um, and then I started really, the overwhelm just kept adding up. I was dropping weight like crazy. Um, my hair was falling out. And that was like a really big concern for me mm. when I would shower and I just would have like handfuls of hair coming out. I started to become afraid to wash my hair and I didn't want to shower, which didn't work because I worked out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, I was doing the things to be healthy. Like I was eating clean. I was working out. I was meditating. I journaled. I was reading like all the things that you would think to be healthy. I was doing, but um, the overwhelm led to anxiety. The anxiety was building up and about five and a half, six months postpartum, I started experiencing panic attacks. And that was that was really scary. Because it happened mostly when I was home alone with just my baby um, and he would go down for a nap. And so it was that moment I had like time to myself. I would start to get so overwhelmed and like, what do I do? There's so much to do. This nap's only going to be hour long. And I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think you need a reason to have anxiety or have panic attacks. Um they just would take over. Yeah. So it was a really you kind of said to yourself, like, this is not normal. Like, even though these other moms are feeling overwhelmed, like this has gone to a different level. And yeah, I well, something about it now. So what, you know, it wasn't like, okay, because I would have moments of like, I couldn't catch my breath. It would knock me down to the floor. I remember the bathroom was my place to go when I would have a panic attack. And I would either just lean over the sink and try to splash water on my face and tell myself like, I'm okay, just breathe, like take a deep breath, you know, stop crying. And I would walk out of the bathroom five, 10 minutes later and be perfectly fine. And that's what I thought. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm good. Like that's in the past. And so I went along with that for a while, a few weeks until I had a panic attack in front of my fiance. He, he didn't know that this was happening. And he like looked at me and I had kind of like leaned up against the wall in the kitchen. And I, you know, I was hyperventilating. And he's like, Justina, what is going on? Wow. We need to do something about this. And so 
that's when I decided to make a doctor's appointment. I told them about my weight loss. I told them about my hair falling out. They thought it was thyroid related because it had a lot of symptoms of having an overactive thyroid. So we did a blood panel and everything came back normal, which, you know, it's like, okay, well, so what's wrong with me, right? Like, why am I feeling this way? If the doctors can't diagnose it, she said, well, we have an anti-anxiety medication if you want to try that. And I was like, uh, I'll take the prescription, but I don't think that's for me, you know? And so I just didn't feel like the going down a medical pharmaceutical route was for me. Um, I knew that my body was missing something Mm -hmm. that I like, I am more of a holistic healer. Um, and so I started doing some research on, on gut health and I had been doing research on gut health related to thyroid for some of my clients. I was, I'm a fitness coach. And so um, I knew that the gut was really, really important to like hormones and feelings, but I was, I had no idea where to begin. Like, how can I use that knowledge to my advantage? You know? Mm-hmm. So, so, then next. so um, my, I honestly was like praying that I would find something to help me. The anxiety wasn't getting any better. Um, I was started taking a bunch of different supplements because I knew my body was probably lacking something Mm. and I felt a little bit better, but nothing, nothing extreme. And then one of my girlfriends had told me about this new like gut mind connection protocol. And she's like, it's all natural plant-based, very specific probiotic strands like that actually talk to your brain for stress, anxiety, depression hormones, sleep, all these things. And I was like, what? Like, and she had no idea what was going on with me. She was approaching me more as a business opportunity because she knew I was in the health and fitness industry. Mm-hmm. And um, so my entrepreneurial spirit got really lit up when I found out it was the ground level of this company. You know, like the fact that it had just started and I could be one of the leaders if I thought it would work for me, right? So mm-hmm. Um, I'm like, well, after kind of doing some research, I was like, this is exactly what I've been praying for, for myself holistically. It's what I need. So I, I dove all in, I flew to California. I did the research, met everyone at the home office. I started using this protocol and within like five to six days, I woke up and like felt amazing. And I can't even, it was like a fog was lifted from my head. Um, my my brain fog was gone. I had energy. I remember a couple of days after feeling better, I kind of scared myself because I heard myself laughing. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what was that? Like that was, was I just laughing? Because it had been that long since I literally laughed out loud. That was what, three years ago. And so then I, yeah, when we first met and I was telling you these things. And then long behold, I was pregnant with my second. I was slightly nervous to be pregnant again, just because I did not want to go through that experience I went through with my first. So, so you I stayed did, on the protocol through the second pregnancy? I did. I did. And I was so, so grateful for that because it's all functional foods and all natural stuff. It was actually encouraged to use during pregnancy because the research is showing now that your gut microbiome has a really significant impact on the fetus. You know, they say like, if the mom is stressed, the baby feels it. But we know that to be true because your gut is so important for sending out those signals and like, think about where the baby is. It's right in next to your gut, right? I was, I was really excited to like have one pregnancy normal and have one pregnancy where my body was aligned and balanced. And I felt just like free, like, um, just really, really vibrant and strong and like vigorous and energetic. And, um, my pregnancy was both of them were fairly healthy. I felt good during pregnancy, but then the difference was the postpartum journey with my second baby. He, he was breech and he would not turn around. And I thought that we could get him to flip. So when my contractions had started, I went to the hospital early to see if we could try to get him to go head down. And when, by the time I got there, he was ready to come out, but his feet were down. So it ended up in an emergency C-section, which like my, I go to like all of the nerd stuff. And my biggest concern was 
he's not going to get the bacteria from passing through the birthing canal. <laughs> like, he's he's going to miss out on all of those like good bacteria that's so important for infants to go through the birthing canal. And I was like, oh my gosh, this poor baby. And you know, my, my fiance is like, Justina, seriously, like you have such good like gut microbiome. You're, we're going to breastfeed. We go skin to skin. He's going to be fine. Um, but healing from a C-section compared to a natural labor was completely different. Um, I'm a very active person. I, you know, I'm a fitness coach at heart. And so to be like bedridden and not even to be able to like lift up my baby, they're like, you can't pick up anything more than 10 pounds. He was born at eight pounds. So that, you know, it was, it was tough. Um, it really had like this mental component to it where, because my body physically couldn't do things, it started to really mess with my, my mindset and my feeling of self-worth, like being like an independent, like I could do this too, baby thing, you know, but luckily my supplements were there to help keep me balanced. And I just doubled up on that protocol. Like if I felt like I was starting to go down that rabbit hole of the overwhelming thoughts, the anxiety, feelings of depression. I just doubled up on that protocol and I li it, it literally helped within like 30 minutes. It was, it's amazing. Um, so even though I was, I couldn't move, I was like at peace and I felt good. Like my mind wasn't racing like crazy. I woke up like, so, you know, the newborns eat four times a night, but I would wake up and still feel really like clear minded. I don't know like if this is true or not right but like Vaughn my first he was so tough he cried a lot he he was so hard to put down for a nap like oh my goodness There's, I love him he like he's my challenge child I love him right but I didn't have this really good nutrients coming through my breast milk because of these supplements and I don't know if this is true or not, right? Maybe he's just a completely different baby, but he is so chill. Theo's so chill. He sleeps easy. He's happy. Like the fussing that if you heard them fussing, that's his crying. He doesn't really cry. And I, so overall, it's been amazing experience. Like I could have like five more babies. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, don't think uh, I mean, I really don't. I mean, I, the way that the pregnancy goes and how you nourish yourself and, and like, you just built that microbiome, like to like peak performance. So I don't think it's a coincidence that he's more chill. And I also don't think that it's impossible to, and then you probably are, are using the supplements with your firstborn to help him yes. rebuild as well. But the probiotics that I'm using He's do you, you know, they pass through breast milk, which is amazing. And that was kind of one of the reasons why I didn't want to go on the anti-anxiety medication with my first was because I was breastfeeding and I didn't, they say it's safe and it's okay. Right. And so if anyone needs, feels like they need to take their medication, absolutely. But that wasn't what I chose. Like I didn't want to try to put that. And even during healing through my C-section, they prescribed me with like oxycodone and I remember in the hospital, I kept trying to push this oxycodone like every six hours and I had my natural pain relief sitting right at my bedside. And I was like, I'm not using that. And they're like, you just had a major surgery. You're going to be in pain. I was like, I I'm expecting that, but I also don't want to use a pharmaceutical. I, I have an alternative solution. And that's what I use to heal throughout my whole C-section. One time I use the oxycodone and I did not like the way I felt. It was like this big brain fog. I didn't want to get off the couch. Like it, I wasn't really in pain, but I felt like half asleep, you know? And I just, I didn't like that. And I didn't like the idea of Theo possibly getting that through breast milk. And so I used a natural pain relief and a hemp oil. And that works kind of at the nervous system level. And it was incredible. Like, there were days um, there were days I was in pain, but not like tremendously, and it wow. wasn't intolerable, you know. Unbelievable! Wow, yeah. what a great story, and it's really cool to be able to compare the two, you know, mm -hmm. experiences. And so, 
I'm sure you are on a mission yourself to like let other moms know about this. Cause I mean, it's pretty high. I think the statistics are around 25% of women experience postpartum. So that's pretty high. That's like one in four women. So mm-hmm. if, you know, to get this message out that there's a natural solution to maybe prevent it. So it's good to have restoring the gut while you're pregnant, but then also afterwards, if you hadn't been doing that, but there's also a natural solution to put into place. So yes. that's amazing. It is. And I would have to say too, because I operate my business from home, using these supplements just gave me another edge to be able to work my business, which is incredible. Like with Vaughn, I was so overwhelmed and stressed to run my business. Like the stress ate me alive. Right. But we know now that the gut is the home for cortisol. And so if you could target cortisol at the root and then, you know, you get mental clarity, you, that opens your creative juices to like get your business to that next level. And so I don't have postpartum depression. I, I don't have those crazy feelings of overwhelm, but then in addition, my business has also went to the next level, which you would not expect having a second baby, you know? Right. Um, and I think and so, the dopamine too, that is yeah. produced in the gut. So that's for like more like focus and clarity and mm-hmm. all of that. Oxytocin for like breastfeeding, you know, that that's what lets your milk drop. Mm-hmm. And like, if you could tell, like we're, he's so healthy. <laughs> <laughs> he gets enough milk right and like the supply was kind of a problem with Vaughn like it I would be up one day and down the next and that's kind of how my moods were were up one day down the next and mm. my supply went that way and that was one of the things that led to am I you know is my baby eating enough and so if I could tell any moms watching right now this is only going to benefit you right? There's nothing in it that could, that could harm you. Or maybe if you don't feel like you have a problem, it will only make whatever, wherever you are better. Um, even if you don't think life could be better, it will, it will help so much. And I don't think that, you know, our, our medical field's changing. And so we have to remain open-minded and stay curious and open to evaluating different solutions. And the fact that it was all natural was just a huge benefit for me. So if there's mama bears out there, just stay open, talk to this lovely lady, like be in this group. It's so helpful to have the community. Awesome. Awesome. So thank you so much. I know this is such critical information for mom. I I feel like today's mom have like doubly, like especially you trying to do a home business. So thank you. I I love it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me here, Dale. I love you so much and keep doing these amazing things. Thank you, Christina. I love you too. Yeah. See you guys.